It was the massive fire that could be seen for miles and closed down parts of Amherst near the airport yesterday. And more than 24 hours since that tower of black smoke went up into the sky, investigators still do not know how it started. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again. I'm Scott Levin. Now that fire ripped right through a warehouse for several hours yesterday took literally hundreds of firefighters to put it out. To your sides, Dave McKinley is live near the scene on Air Heart Drive tonight with the latest. David? And among the lots lost, lots of PPE, things like gowns, things like masks, no longer useful, and now strewn about in a debris field before the warehouse which burned. The blaze broke out at about 4.30 Tuesday afternoon with workers inside the office and warehouse complex utilized by premium PPE, Medicare storage, and a few other firms. There, there were some individuals within the building. Uh, we are in the process currently interviewing some of those individuals. Amherst Fire Inspector John Pigeon. The interview process to an investigation is very crucial to helping us determine where to look and what to look for. To hopefully determine the cause of the blaze that burned out of control for more than eight hours and took 200 firefighters to quell, some from as far away as Genesee County and the Southern Tier. I was told this morning that we've utilized probably a approximately 50 different departments and agencies at this point. A particular concern were chemicals stored in the warehouse, which prompted an alert for residents downwind of the massive smoke plume to shelter as a precaution. And there were no reported uh, injuries or illness due to these chemicals. We are doing monitoring with the DEC and state agencies to make sure that there are no hazards that come up. The smoke has cleared now on one call for the books. I'm being told it's uh, one of the biggest fires in the history of the town of Amherst based off the, the complexity of it and the resource need. The front office of the complex appears relatively unscathed, although we did see workers earlier today coming and going, retrieving things like computers and files, an indication perhaps that they won't be working here for a while. In fact, Town Supervisor Brian Culpa stopped by a short time ago he uh, agreed and surmised they probably wouldn't be here for a while. He couldn't confirm, though, whether or not that part of the building has been condemned. He did say, however, that the Matthewson McCarthy Youth Baseball League, which plays on fields just a quarter mile away from here, will not be allowed to play there for at least the next couple of days. So soil sampling can be done to see if anything deleterious fell from the sky uh, onto the grass there. And they don't want to uh, they want to make sure that there's nothing harmful there for the kids. Reporting live in the town of Amherst, Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.